Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. For this video, I will discuss on theorem chapter 1. Uh, from 4, quadratic function and condition in one variable. Uh, this is part 3. So our learning standard for this video, determine the roots of a quadratic equation by factorization method. Okay, how do you determine the root of quadratic equation by factorization method? Factorization method is one of the method used to determine the roots of a quadratic equation. Quadratic equation needs to be written in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero before we carry out factorization. So this is actually you have learned and form two. So determine the root of the following quadratic equation by factorization method. So have a look at uh, example A. So this is actually in the form of uh, general form. So you just uh, factorize this using uh, factorization method. If you don't know how to do this, you will uh, go to your form 2 syllabus and see how it works. So, this is the root of this equation, x equals to 3 or x equals to 2. Or, I will show you by using calculator. So, this is your calculator scientific. So, to get this value, first press mod uh, 3 times, then choose equation. So, press 1. And then the unknown here, you uh, press this arrow button and then you choose degree 2. Next, the Christian will, uh, the calculator will uh, ask you to substitute the value of A. The value of A is actually the coefficient of x squared. So A is 1, so press 1, then equal b is negative 5 so negative 5 and equal c is the uh, y intercept here or the last uh, algebraic term so 6 so press 6 and press equal and then the calculator will give you the value of x1 equals to 3 this is actually the uh, answer for roots so look at this x equals to 3 so the calculator gives 3. Then you press equal one more time and then we, uh, the calculator will show uh, the value of second x or x2 equals to 2. So you just write x equals to 2. But remember to write in the form of 2 bracket here. The tip here is if, here give, uh, if the calculator for x1 give you positive number then you write in a bracket x minus 3 if the calculator okay here also uh, give positive number so minus 2 so this is how it work let's continue for example p so have a look at this this is not in general form what is the general form general form for equation is ax square plus bx plus c. As you can see in this uh, example, uh, this equation not are in a general form. So we must do something so that the equation will become ax plus b ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero. So for this example, the, the first uh, equation here is actually uh, uh, the whole equation times 2. So the, uh, uh, the whole equation here times 2. So two, uh, x squared times 2 is 2x squared plus 7 over 2x times 2 is 7x equals to 2 times 2 equals to 4. Next, write the equation into the general form. Uh, equals to 0 then for this you can use your calculator uh, to get this answer okay how uh, to 
use calculator. Let me show you by using calculator. So this is my calculator. Okay, the value of A here is 2. So press 2 equal B is 7 equal then C is negative 4. So given here X uh, 1 is 0 0.5 or uh, you can press this button so give the answer in, uh, in fraction form. So X equals to 1 over 2 and then equal one more time. So it show here negative 4. So X equals to 4. For the bracket, you cannot write it as like this. Just now, when I use calculator, the calculator shows that the value of x1 is 1 over 2, right? So the value of x2 is negative 4. So in the bracket here, 2 here, you write like this, 2x. So here minus because this is positive. When positive, here uh, you put negative, then 1. Okay, so uh, for this negative 4, so we put here for Next, for C, for this question, first you have to do a cross multiplication. So, x times with x minus 4, 2 times with 5x minus 24. Don't forget your bracket, bracket here. Then you x. And the bracket, so x times x is x squared, minus x times 4 is 4x, equals to 2 times 5x, 10x, minus 2 times negative 24 is negative 48. Once you get this, and then rearrange this equation into the general form. Remember, the general form must equal 0. Then you, you can use your calculator. The calculator will give the answer for x is 8 and x2 is 6. So in a bracket, you put negative and negative because the answer is positive. So for D, first expand the bracket. This one you have learned in form 1. Just expand if you don't remember this. This refer to your form 1 syllabus. Also, this one you have to expand like this and it become this. After that, rearrange the formula into the general form and then you factorize the equation by using calculator. So, this is the root for equation D. Next, how do you determine the root of a quadratic equation? by the graphical method. This one also you have learned in form 2 by using the graphical method. So, the root of quadratic equation can be obtained using the graphical method by reading the value of x. You substitute the value of x and y, then you draw a, a graph, then look at the uh, x-intercept. So, the value of x intercept here is actually the roots. Okay, this is your homework. Self-practice 1.1 F. Next, our learning standard for this video. Sketch graph of quadratic function. Okay, how do you sketch the graph of a quadratic function? When sketching the graph of a quadratic function, the following characteristic should be shown on the graph. First one, the correct shape of the graph, and then the y-intercept, and x-intercept, or one point that passes through the graph. So the three 
uh, thing here must be shown in the graph. The graph. So, case one, the graph of a quadratic function intersect the x-axis. Sketch the following graph of quadratic function. This is the first uh, quadratic function. So first, write the equation and then look at the value of a. The value of a here equals to 1, which is greater than 0. So you know your shape will be a smile shape graph. Then look at the value of c. Value c here is actually the y intercept. Next, you factorize uh, the equation uh, from the previous example. I'll show this. So you get x equals to 1 and x equals to 3. Then you draw the uh, y axis and x axis. First, you put the root here. This one uh, just agak-agak je. So, this is 1. This is 3. Next, look at this uh, y-intercept. So, positive 3. So, here, positive 3. Then, you just draw. Oh, sorry. Buruk sikit. So, you just draw the graph. Okay, like this. Next. This is for B. First, write the equation. Then, determine the shape. And then, do factorize. Then, you will get here X only have one value of X. So, the 3 here is actually the Minimum point. So the graph will be like this. For C, this is uh, the value of A here negative. So this is the shape. Uh, we will get the set shape graph. And then do factorization to get the roots. So this is the root. Then the draw the graph. So for D, this is the equation, and then this is the y intercept, and then this is the root or the x intercept. So the graph will be like this. So case two, the graph of a quadratic function does not intersect the y axis. Okay, for example, a. This is the uh, function x square plus one. Since A equals to 1, which is greater than 0, a positive number, the shape of graph will be small shape graph. And for B equals to 0, so this one, uh, I've done uh, explaining this in my previous video. So B is equals to 0, the axis of symmetry is the Y axis, and the value of the Y intercept is 1. So the graph will be like this. So this one you just substitute any value of x. You can put 1, 2, 3 then just cache the graph. For this exam, uh, example uh, we substitute the value of x with 2. Okay, for b this is the equation. Uh, this is the function. Then this is negative one, which is less than zero. So this is the shape of the graph. Since b equals to zero, so you know that the symmetry is the y-axis. So this is the y-intercept, and then you just uh, choose one number for x to substitute into this function. So you just uh, put one point here. If you choose number two, then it will be this number. Then you just put this number, then it become two something. Okay. Next, uh, this is your homework. So I'll practice one point one G. So this is 
the last learning standard for this video, solve problem involving quadratic equation. So how do you solve problem, uh, problems involving quadratic equation? So this is the uh, problem solving. Just set want to make a framework of a box in the shape of a cobot using wooden roots. Wooden rods. Okay, the price of the wooden rod is 5 ringgit per meter. The base of the cuboid is a square. The height of the cuboid is 30 cm more than the length of its base. The total surface area of the box is 4,800. Joseph's object built the frame of a box is RM15 ringgit. Determine whether Joseph and, uh, has enough budget. So first, you have to understand the problem. This is the first step. So given the length of base is xcm, and then the height of the cuboid is uh, more than 30. So x plus 30 for the height. Total surface area is 4,800. And this is the budget for a book. Then, next step, planning strategy. Determine the expression of the surface area of the cuboid. Uh, this one you have to uh, make an expression for this. Form a quadratic equation. When you get expression, then uh, form a quadratic equation. Next, solve the quadratic equation. Determine the measurement of the bulk and the actual cost. Okay. Implementing the strategy. Uh, the strategy. The total surface is to x times x plus for x times x plus thirty. So this is the algebraic expression. And then, uh, this is the surface area for the box. This is the total surface area from this uh, right in the form of general form of quadratic equation which is equal to zero. Then you factorize uh, the equation and then you'll get x equals to negative 4 and x equals to 20. So, the x here is actually the, the, uh, the length of the base. So, negative 40 is not acceptable. So, thus, we choose x equals to 20. So, the measurement of the bulk are 20 times 20 times 50. So, this is the measurement 3.6 meter. Since the equation at uh, the problem just now said, the uh, price of the wooden rod is 5 ringgit per meter. So, we times with 5 ringgit and then this is the actual cost. So the actual cost of the box is 18 ringgit. So we can conclude that uh, Joseph has not enough budget because her but uh, his budget is 15 ringgit only. So next, this is your homework, self-practice 1.1H and also do your comprehensive practice. In the next video, we will discuss about this uh, exercise for today's lesson. Okay, before we end our video, uh, let's uh, summarize what we have learned in chapter 1 from 4K SSM. Quadratic function and equation in one variable. Quadratic expression, highest power is 2 and involves only one variable. So this is the general form for uh, quadratic expression. And A must not be equal, uh, A is not equal to 0. So the general form is uh, for function function ax square plus bx plus c if the value of a greater than zero then 
it will uh, be small shape graph. If the value of A is less than 10, then uh, we'll get set shape graph. For small shape graph, if B greater than 0, then axis of symmetry will be in the uh, right hand side or the, in the right of the y axis. If B greater than 0, then the axis of symmetry will be in the left of the y axis. If the B is 0, then the y axis will become the axis of symmetry. For the y intercept, the value of C is the, uh, is the value for y intercept. So for a set shape graph, if B greater less than 0, then the axis of symmetry will be in the uh, left of y axis. For B greater than 0, then the axis of symmetry will be in the right of the y axis. If B equals to 0, then the axis of symmetry will be the y axis. C also uh, the y intercept of the function. The quadratic equation, this is the general form, must be equal to 0. And then the root of quadratic equation are the values of the variable that satisfies the equation. So the root of equation can be determined by using factorization method and graphical method. So that's all. Thank you and see you in the next video.